With the release of Black Ops 6 just around the corner, Treyarch has once again delivered one of its strongest features, a robust progression system. After a long break, Classic Prestige is making a return and it's coming back in a big way. I'm usually very cautious when it comes to the new Call of Duty releases, especially with Black Ops 6, but this new progression system and the revamp prestige feature may just be the most impressive one yet. At its core, the progression system remains familiar, with traditional level unlocks and a new prestige system that brings back some old favourites. You'll have the chance to display legacy prestige icons for past Call of Duty games and the ability to unlock mastery camos in multiplayer, zombies and warzone. Plus, the long-awaited return of custom reticles is finally here, something players have missed since Modern Warfare 2019. Additionally, the game introduces mastery badges for all weapons, equipment, field upgrades and score streaks, which can be used to personalise your social profile. The classic medal collection also makes its return, adding just another layer of progression for dedicated players. As always, you'll progress through level 1 to 55, unlocking perks, loadouts and equipment as you go. However, the introduction of a new prestige hub makes things a little bit more exciting. Each prestige level you achieve unlocks exclusive rewards, including cosmetic skins for operators and weapons. When you choose to prestige, your level resets and you'll need to unlock your loadouts again. However, things like weapon progression, camos and reticles remain unlocked. You'll also earn a permanent unlock token with each prestige so you can keep one favourite item available at all times. One major improvement is that you no longer need to max out a weapon before unlocking its camo challenges. From the start you'll be able to work on camos without grinding to level up your guns first. The 9 prestige tiers come with individual rewards ranging from operator skins to animated emblems giving the players plenty to strive for. Upon reaching Prestige Master, you unlock legacy prestige icons from previous games, allowing you to sport a Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 1 icon within Black Ops 6. The mastery camos in this year's installment are truly impressive. With dynamic effects that change based on how you use your weapon, camos like Dark Ether and Dark Spine for multiplayer, or Afterlife and Nebula for zombies are designed to stand out. The Catalyst camo and Warzone follow suit, with all mastery camos reacting dynamically in game. The reintroduction of custom reticles is a much welcomed feature. There will be 10 reticles to unlock per mode, multiplayer zombies and Warzone, giving you options like the classic blue dot as well as new additions like purple and yellow reticles. Every piece of equipment from Lethals, tacticals to weapons and score streaks also come with its own mastery badge for your profile, letting you show off your accomplishments in style. Treyarch has really delivered so far with Black Ops 6 from the start. Gobble gums are unlocked with the additional ones available as you level up. The new camo system means that even casual players won't need to sink in countless hours into leveling weapons before getting access to mastery challenges. There's something for everyone here with this year's title. Challenge specific camos, warzone exclusive camos, multiplayer and zombie camos, and now prestige specific skins so you can customise your experience based on how you like to play. While this prestige system will likely remain in place for the full life cycle of Black Ops 6, one thing to keep an eye on is how the community will react to its impact on skill based matchmaking SBMM. Being able to visibly identify high level players could change how matches feel, though it's important to remember that the time spent playing doesn't always equate to skill. That said, Treyarch seems focused on delivering a reward system regardless of how SBMM plays out. This prestige system might just be the best one we've had since original Modern Warfare 2019. Overall, I'm genuinely impressed with how Black Ops 6 has approached its progression system. The return to classic prestige, combined with so many ways to customise your experience, is a welcome sight. With Game Pass making the game more accessible, there's plenty of content for everyone whether you're chasing after camos, badges or prestige icons. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like and subscribe and as always I hope you all have a wonderful day.